I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to write differential equations for family of curves represented by composite exponential functions. So the question here is find differential equation of following families y equals to a e to the power of 3x plus b e to the power of minus 2x y equals to e to the power of 2x within brackets a plus bx c is y equals to a e to the power of 2x plus b e to the power of minus x and d is y equals to e to the power of x times a cos x plus b sin x. Now first part here is to check how many arbitrary constants are there, right? So that will lead to order of derivatives, order of ordinary differential equation. Is it okay? Now remember, uh, when, let us take this case, we have two arbitrary constants, right? So let's write down how many constants are there. So in this case, we are looking for two parameters, which are a and b and therefore we are looking for order of two right in this case again there are two parameters a and b and the order is two same is the case with all other equations correct now to solve such equations we need to isolate a and b or get rid of these after second derivatives. That's the whole strategy. Let us see how to do it, taking these examples one by one. So the first one here is, we need to write differential equation for the family y equals to a e to the power of 3x plus b e to the power of minus 2x. So let's write it down we have a e to the power of 3x plus b e to the power of minus 2x. Now if you take the derivative as such, you will not be able to eliminate a and b easily. However, if I multiply everything by e to the power of 2x, what do we get? So we can kind of rewrite the equation. So we'll get e to the power of 2x y equals to a e to the power of 5x plus b. Do you see that? Now if I take the derivative with respect to x, then we can eliminate b. So now we'll differentiate with respect to x. So here we can apply the product rule, right? Derivative of the first term times the second term. So derivative of the first term is 2 e to the power of 2x times y plus first term as such times derivative of the second term that gives us this is a constant so we'll get 5 a e to the power of 5x and that gives us 0 do you see that so we eliminated b with one derivative now to eliminate a we'll have to do the same thing correct so what we can do here is let me take e to the power of 2x common first. So we can write this as e to the power of 2x. Within brackets, I have 2y plus y prime, the derivative of y, equals to 5a e to the power of 5x. Now, if I divide by e to the power of 5x, what do I get? I get e to the power of minus 3x, 2x minus 5x, right? times 2y plus y prime equals to 5a. At this stage, we should take the second derivative, right? So derivative with respect to x. Now we'll again apply the product rule. So we get here minus 3 e to the power of minus 3x times 2y plus y dash and then plus will retain this as such e to the power of minus 3x derivative of the second term which is 2y dash plus y double dash 
equals to zero. Do you see that? So we have eliminated the second arbitrary constant also with the second derivative. So this is a key. Isolate the variable, I mean the, in this case, the constant, the parameter, and then take the derivative, right? Now it's kind of simpler. We could actually take e to the power of minus 3x common. So what we get here is, uh, and we can now open the bracket. So, so we get actually minus 3 times 2y plus y prime plus 2y dash plus y double dash equals to 0. Multiplying everything by e to the power of 3x, right? So get rid of this. We can open this bracket. We have minus 6y minus 3y dash plus 2y dash plus y double dash equals to 0. Or it's good to write the highest order of the derivative first. So we get y second derivative. The first derivative, we get minus y. And then we have minus 6y equals to 0, right? So that gives us the differential equation for the given case. If you want, you could write it on the other side also. But anyway, this becomes the differential equation representing the given function y equals to a e to the power of 3x plus b e to the power of minus 2x. Now let's look into the second example. Now this example is very similar to the previous one. I'd like you to pause the video, copy the question, solve, and then check with my solution. So let's rewrite the question, which is y equals to e to the power of 2x times a plus bx. Since there are two arbitrary constants, so we are looking for order of two, correct? Now, before taking derivatives, let's isolate these variables dividing both sides by e to the power of 2x. So we could rewrite this as e to the power of minus 2x times y equals to a plus bx, correct? Now let us take the derivative. Differentiate with respect to x. Apply the product rule, so which gives us minus 2 e to the power of minus 2x times y plus e to the power of minus 2x y prime equals to b, right? Derivative of a is 0. Now, we can again take the derivative and solve. Well, let's take e to the power of minus 2x common. That will simplify our work. So we get e to the power of minus 2x and uh, within the brackets, we could write this as y prime minus 2y equals to b. Now, if I differentiate again with respect to x, we'll eliminate b also, right? Here, let's apply the product rule. We get e to the power of minus 2x derivative. That means minus 2, it gets multiplied with. And this is y prime minus 2y plus e to the power of minus 2x times the derivative of inside term, which is second derivative minus 2 times first derivative equals to 0. Okay? Now, at this stage, you can always take e to the power of minus 2x common uh, and rather cancel it from both the sides. So, so what we get here is minus 2 times y prime minus 2y plus y double prime minus 2y prime equals to 0. So let's open the bracket. We have minus 2y dash minus and minus is plus plus 4y plus y double dash minus 2y dash equals to 0. So we have second derivative of y as well as first derivatives. They combine to give minus 4y plus 4y equals to 0. So that becomes the ordinary differential equation with order 1 and degree 1, right? 
So let's take the next example now, which is write differential equation for the family y equals to a e to the power of 2x plus b e to the power of minus x. Now this is very similar to the first question which we took. So I like you to pause the video, answer this question and then check with my solution. It is mainly given here for practice. Okay. So the concept is we'll multiply by e to the power of x both sides. So we get e to the power of x times y equals to a e to the power of 2x plus x makes it 3x plus b and now we are going to differentiate with respect to x correct apply the product rule so we get e to the power of x times y plus e to the power of x times derivative here we get three times a e to the power of 3x that is zero to eliminate a we should again rearrange right so now we'll up multiply by e to the power of minus 3x so we get e to the power of minus 2x y plus e to the power of minus 2x y prime equals to 3a you can take e to the power of minus 2x common you get y plus y prime which is equal to 3a now uh, now we'll take the derivative so that would be 0 this time correct that is the whole idea right derivative with respect to x apply the product rule so we get minus 2 e to the power of minus 2x times y plus y prime plus e to the power of minus 2x derivative is y derivative plus second derivative equals to 0 now e to the power minus 2x can be taken as common and then cancelled so I'm not writing it so let me just multiply by minus 2 here now so we have minus 2 y plus y prime plus y prime plus y second derivative equals to 0 open the brackets so we have minus 2y minus 2y prime plus y prime plus y second derivative rearrange writing the highest powers first so we get this and here we get minus 2y prime and then we have minus 2y equals to 0 right so that becomes the solution rather differential equation representing the family of curves by a e to the power of 2x plus b e to the power of x so we are almost at the end we quickly went through this now here we have a combination of exponential and uh, the trigonometric function. I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. The question here is y equals to e to the power of x times a cos x plus b sin x. Now in this particular case, we know the second derivative of a cos x sin x will be negative of this. So that is the strategy which we keep in mind. So what I will do here is, as we have done earlier, we'll divide both sides by e to the power of x. So we get e to the power of minus x times y equals to a cos x plus b sin x, correct? So we'll kind of rearrange. And now we will differentiate with respect to x. Is it okay? Apply the product rule here, which is minus for minus x, e to the power of minus x times y plus e to the power of minus x y prime equals 2. Derivative of cos x is minus sin x, so we get minus a sin x, and this is plus b cos x. And now we can take e to the power of minus x common, right? So we get e to the power of minus x common. Let me write this as, since this is negative, y prime minus y equals to minus a sine x plus b cos x. 
Now let's take the derivative with respect to x on both the sides. Apply the product rule that gives us negative e to the power of minus x times y prime minus y plus e to the power of minus x times second derivative times minus first derivative and here we get minus a cos x and that is minus b sin x. As you can see the right side is negative of this. So if you compare with this equation here and this. So what do you notice? So this is negative of this. That means I could replace the right side by minus e to the power of minus x times y. Perfect. On the left side, let me take minus e to the power of minus x common. So we get y prime minus y. Since we took minus common, so I'll make this negative. So negative y double dash plus y dash. Now, as you can see, these terms cancel over this sign, correct? So we get our equation. We'll bring y. This is second derivative. So let's bring it to this side. So we get 0 equals to y double prime. And this is y prime, y prime means 2y prime minus y, this minus cancelled, so we are left with plus 2y, correct? This negative sign also cancelled with the negative sign. So we get our differential equation representing the family of curves y equals to e to the power of x, a cos x plus b sin x. So I hope with this exercise you understand how to write composite functions with exponential functions as differential equations. Feel free to share your comments and views. If you like and subscribe, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.